Dear friends, welcome to Knox Met Kids at Home. Wherever you're watching, wherever you are this morning, may grace and peace and grapes and peas be with you. We'd love it if you'd let us know that you're here by leaving a comment and, and letting us know where you're watching from. And, and if anyone out there is watching with your PJ still on, I want you to put your hand up. Okay, yep, 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 awesome, wonderful. That sounds like a very comfy, cozy way to be joining us today. At Knox Met Kids at Home, today we're gonna sing a few songs. We're gonna share a few prayers. And if you have someone or something that you'd like us to name in our prayers, we, we'd love to do that. Um, so what you can do is you could leave a comment um, just below here and tell us what you'd like us to say in our prayers today and, and we can remember those things. We might offer a gratitude or something that we're thankful for or joyful about. Or maybe we would offer a concern, some, something that worries us and that we, we would love to know that we hold it together as a community. We're also going to have a story today, and that story is going to require some participation from you at home, but, but we'll get to that in a few moments. Uh, in a couple days on Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll gather again, but this time over Zoom so we can see each other's faces, and we'll sing some songs again together and, and get a chance to say hello. Now, Cheryl's going to help me out open, op opening our time together. <laughs> Excellent. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by lighting a candle and singing a welcome song. Ready? Our welcome song is God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. <laughs> God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. And again. God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. Now we're going to sing it through twice more and this time when we sing it through instead of saying stranger and friend you're going to say the people that are in your house so we're going to say god welcomes all lily and ollie god's love is strong and it never ends god love welcomes all cheryl and isla god's love is strong and it never ends and you'll add the people in your house in there here we go god welcomes all Folks, that was, uh, you did so great with that. Now we're going to share a, a bit of a prayer together before we continue on. Uh, this is an I am here prayer, and it's a prayer that we've done before, um, both here and, and sometimes at Knox Met when we're not at home. And for friends who are part of the Lumsden Beach Camp community, this is a, this is a prayer we like to do at Lumsden Beach Camp as well. Mm -hmm. This prayer is about being right where we are. In our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our eyes, and our words. And, and it's important because today's story is about a bunch of friends who had something scary happen to them. And one of their friends was able to be really calm in the midst of all that, and that calm helped. Because that person was able to be right within themselves, in their heart, their mind, and their body. So this prayer has three words. So I'm going to say it, and then you're going to say it back to me, okay? I am here. 
Good job, you got it. Now, I am here. And there's a bunch of actions. The first one is hands up like this. Yep, just like that. Then hands by our eyes. Yep, you got it. Hands to our mouths. Mm -hmm. Hands to our hearts. Hands onto our legs. You, you might not be able to see my legs, but that's where my hands are. So one, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. So we're going to say those words through while we do those different actions. And as we go, it's going to be a different word with a different action each time. And I'm going to say some things in between. So let's take a deep breath and out as we pray together. I am here. I am here in the words that I say to people. And today I choose to make my words words that are beautiful and that will help others feel loved. I am here. And I am here in this place, and, and I'm grateful to be with the people that I love nearby. And I'm an important part of this space as well. I am here. Here within my heart, within my soul, I feel something that keeps me grounded and is beautiful. And in this place, I learn to live out of my heart. I am. I'm here in my eyes and the ways that I look at things and people and even sometimes problems. And maybe by looking deeply at them, I can see new ways of responding. I am here. My legs root me to the earth, to the land of tree for territory, of which, where I am privileged to call my home. And I am grateful for being upon this land. I am here. And one last time, just our actions. Right there. Right there. Amen. Great, great job. Now, we're going to sing a song in just a moment. It's a song that if you tuned into Easter service last week, you, you would have heard. It's called God's Glorious House. Now, when Jesus and his friends were talking, Jesus often talked about God's kingdom or God's house and how there was room for everyone. And there was a table that had food for everyone and that everyone was welcome. And, and Jesus' friends and followers started to wonder, like, where is this house and when will we go there? But then they quickly realized when Jesus had risen and had left them to continue his work, they started to realize that it wasn't a house that they could go to, but a house that they would build. And not just with rocks and bricks and, and trees and um, you know other ecologically friendly building material, but it was a house that they would build in their communities, in their own cells. And they started to learn what their ancestors had always known, that the earth herself was a home for all if we paid attention and cared and noticed. So the words are, come and go with me, to God's glorious house. And so with that we say, come and go with me to God's glorious house. And we say that twice, then we say, it's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. And that's kind of like we're looking at a house from the side. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. A big, big yard where we can play football. A big, big house. And this is the most important part. We take that house and we go, huh. Can I hear you say, huh? Fabulous. You're, you're very good at this. You must say, huh, a lot. Wonderful. It's God's glorious house. We're going to try that out together. So this is a standing up kind of song. You might want to stand up to sing along.
God's glorious house. That was great. Give yourself a hand. You, you, you've done wonderful. Now, where we said lots and lots of food, this time we're going we're gonna to put a different food in. So I wonder if anyone out there has got a favorite food that they'd like to share in the comment section. We're going to watch for a moment. And then when we say a big, big yard where we can play football, I wonder if anyone's got a favorite game to play in a yard. So instead of football, we can say a big, big yard where we can play something else. So anyone out there, we've got tacos. Awesome. So a big, big table with lots and lots of tacos. And then a big, big yard where we can play... See any ideas? We've got sushi too. Sushi, where we can make sushi. Excellent. Well, that's okay. the food. But so big, big table with lots and lots of tacos and sushi. And a big, big yard where we can play Skateboard. skateboarding. Amazing. Where we can play skateboarding. Fabulous. So let's try that. We'll do one more after. And then you can, uh, we'll do one more after and then you can do more suggestions. Here we go, ready? Soccer and basketball and tennis. Soccer, basketball, and tennis. Awesome. So what we're gonna do this time? Lots and lots of ice cream, and then we'll, where we can play soccer, basketball, and tennis. All right. Cartwheels. And cartwheels. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Wheels, tennis, soccer, and basketball. It's a big, big house. It's God's glorious house. All right, this last time, we're going to, each time we get to one of those spots, you're going to shout out your own favorite thing. So you're going to shout out your own favorite food, your own favorite game, or mathematic equation. Mine is long division. <laughs> Excellent. Here we go. Um, and go with me to God's glorious house, come, and go with me to God's glorious house. It's a big, big house, with lots and lots of rooms, and a big, big table, with lots and lots of food. A big, big yard, where we can play one division. It's a big, big house, huh. it's God's glorious house. In the big, big table that is our community, that is some people in person and some people in other spaces. On our big, big table today, there's a, there could be a special thing, um, a birthday cake. Because today, one of, one of our friends who's, who's with us is in their jammies and watching and having a birthday all at the same time. And I think it is Evelyn's birthday today. Evelyn, is that right? Yeah, awesome. Cool, so what we're gonna do, if we can, um, from wherever you are, we're going to try a happy birthday song together. Cheryl, are you going to help me out? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah perfect. Excellent. Excellent. So ready. <clears throat> In B flat. Mm, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. 
thanks so much for uh, for sharing your birthday with us, Evelyn. Now, we're going to come into a story time. So you may want to kind of rearrange yourself as we arrange our camera to get ready for the story. true about ourselves, others, and the world. So this story, we're going to start by taking out our things out of the box, or the basket. I wonder what this is. teaching by the Sea of Galilee. And so many people came to hear Jesus speak that Jesus had to climb in a boat so everyone could see and hear. Thanks, Lily. Jesus taught all day, and at the end of the day, Jesus was very, very tired. So when Jesus was done, Jesus said to the others in the boat, let's go to the other side and rest. Jesus' friends came with him in the boat, and Jesus took a cushion and a blanket and laid down to rest in the back of the boat. Now, when winds blow over the sea, Waves are rough and wild, but when winds are calm, the sea is calm. Suddenly, and Lily and I are going to help me with this. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, the wind started to blow, and a great storm came and rocked the boat back and forth and side to side. The wind and waves were so wild, the waves splashed into the boat, and the boat, the boat began to fill with water. Throughout this time, Jesus stayed asleep. Jesus' friends were frightened. They came to Jesus, and they said, Wake up! Don't you know that it's stormy? The boat's going to sink. We're, we're frightened. Do you not care about us? Jesus stood up. Jesus looked out at the waves. Jesus looked out at the wind. Jesus looked at his friends. And Jesus said, peace, be still. The wind went peaceful and still, the, way, the waters went peaceful and still.
Jesus looked at his friends and said, What's wrong? Do you not have any faith? Why are you afraid? Jesus' friends were amazed and wondered, Who is this person who tells the winds and waves to stop? And they listen and become calm. I wonder what it was like to be in such a great storm. I wonder how the wind felt when it was blowing the sea. I wonder how the sea felt being wild and rough. I wonder how Jesus could have slept through that storm. I wonder why the wind and sea went calm. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when the wind and waves became still. I wonder if the fear inside them became still as well. I wonder if you've had times where you felt scared and were in wild and rough waters. I wonder what helped you feel still and calm. I wonder who helped you. I wonder what we can do to find a calm in the middle of storms. Great story. I wonder what it made you think about. We're going we're gonna to sing another song before we do our prayers. Uh, this song is called Sanctuary. Can you say that after me? Sanctuary. Awesome. For some people who, who go and worship in a church building, there's like a room in the church building that's called the sanctuary. And it sort of is a fancy word for fancy room with nice mahogany furniture or a very special and sacred place. But sanctuary can also mean safety, a safe space. People can offer someone else sanctuary, a safe, protecting space. So the words to our song go like this. Oh, prepare me, you say that next, to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Awesome. And we're going to put some music to that. sound like this. Lord, oh, no, no. Oh, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a I'm going to sing that part, and Cheryl's going to sing another part built for kind of higher voices. And if you'd like to try to sing her part too, you can totally join along, and then we'll do it all together to end. Here's how it goes. Oh, prepare. Oh, prepare me to 
to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. So that song was about how we can be a space for holy things, for special things, for, for safe and sacred things. That we don't find those things in buildings or in books, but we find them within ourselves, within others, and with the connections that we share. And it's a prayer that we could become a safe place for others, whether the winds are blowing or whether the winds inside are blowing instead. We're going we're gonna to say some prayers all together. I want to invite you to take your hands. I want to invite you to take your hands and put them together like this. Kind of like the boat in our story. As if our hands are making a safe space for us to hold the things that we're praying for. Now, if you'd like something specifically named, you can still leave a quick comment there and we'll name it. But let's begin by holding our hands together, sitting down in a comfortable space. If you'd like to close your eyes, you can. Maybe take a deep breath. In and out. Maybe there's a joy that you'd like to think of, or a gratitude, a thankfulness, of something that's in those hands that you're holding in a safe space. Things like family, things like gardens and the wildlife and the beautiful things we see, maybe the birds on walks, the beauty of a lake, our community, of people that we don't always get to see, but get to think about. Maybe there's other gratitudes and thanksgivings that we're holding and joys to. People who are looking after other people, who are helping, who are caring. We're thankful for all those people too. We also hold the things that are concerning for us, things that make us kind of feel sad right now or disappointed how it's hard to be away from some people that we love, how we wish we could see people that we can't today, how sometimes things feel kind of wavy and windy on the inside in our hearts. We hold our joys, our gratitudes, and our concerns. We hold them like a sanctuary, knowing that one another, even though our hands can't be together, in friendship, we hold a sanctuary for each other. I want to put our hands together like this, and we're going to share a prayer that Jesus taught his friends and his followers. Because as a child turns to her mother, we can turn to God and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we can't be in the same space to wish each other peace, but we still can say peace be with you. We're going to take our hands, put them together like this, and change them like that, and go down. That's American Sign Language for peace be with you. So let's try that again. Peace be with you. And then we can take our hand like this, kind of like a phone call, or like a good skateboarding move, and we say, and also with you. So one last time, and this time you can point to the people in your house with you. So we say, peace be with you. 
and also with you. And also with you, and you, and you, and all of you. So thanks so much for joining us today. Wednesday o'clock at 10 in the morning, we're going to have Knox met, kids at home, live on Zoom. We'll sing some songs and get a chance to say hi to each other face to 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 face. Um, we hope that you'll join us. Next Sunday morning at 1030, Knox met, kids at home. We'll be back here on Facebook Live for some more songs, stories, and prayers. We're going to end with one last song. A blessing song that we can sing to each other through our screens, but also we can sing to the people in whatever room we're in. May God bless you and keep you. May light from God's face shine upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace forever. May God bless you and give you May light from God's face shine upon you prayer goes and as we say around here may grace and peace and grapes and peas be with you see you soon